Hello friends! Really some review time. <laughs> Which I'm always usually behind on, but I've been die cutting and, and trying to get things organized. This is the Simon Says Stamp Make Magic release. Um, I designed for Simon. This was all sent to me. I don't have to do these videos. I do them because I enjoy them. It gets my brain going because I come up with, you know, with ideas. You guys like to see them and request them. Yada, yada, yada. As always, I will have links to everything. I have mostly everything die cut. A few things. I've just run out of time. And I wanted to get this filmed <laughs> while I have, you know, my narrow window of quiet. I've kind of organized things into categories for this release as I was going through it. So, and just, you guys know me. I am flying by the seat of my pants as is tradition. So let's just kind of dive right in and then we'll see where this goes. <laughs> because yeah, there's a lot. This is a big, this is a big release. So first off, I kind of did this first little section is kind of the magic slash um, night sky, etc. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we have some sentiments. So we have things like the shoot for the stars, wait for die, which I topped with holographic cardstock. I already have an idea in my head. I'm thinking like galaxy background, you know? There's um, a background stamp I'll get to in a second too that I was like, ooh. So yeah, love it. I love that it's all connected. That always makes me happy. Same with this one. This is the sunny days ahead. So we've got that one, which is larger, also all nicely connected. So we've got those two for some sentiments. And then there's this one. This is the Night Sky Wafer Die set. I love it because you have two different options for the moon. So you can do, you know, like so or like so. You got little stars. I love these clouds. I just, I have a thing for, like, I have a thing for everything. I always say that, like, I have a thing for rainbows, I have a thing for this, I have a thing for coffee, you know. But I like different shaped clouds. You know, we have all the puffy shapes. I like these ones. These are really nice for a night sky. And then I started thinking, I was like, ooh, Halloween. So anyway, this is the night sky wafer die set. So there's the wafer die set. And then, oh, and this also, by the way, since I've shown this now, this is an A2 size to give you an idea of like the size of these wafer dies. And that's some big, I really like. So we've got the night sky. There's also the night sky builder um, stencil. So we've got the stencil, your standard six by six. It does include these, which may also make me happy. You've got like the mass basically for both of these moons. So you can do either or. You know, so I've done, I did a video, was that last year or the year before, with a Halloween video and using like a circle mask and creating a sky, etc. So you could use that or you could use that shape. And then you've got several cloud shapes. So you could mix and match this within using the die set too, because you could have the die cut clouds. You could also have, you know, some stenciled ones. Ideas. So many ideas. And I do like that more and more stencil sets are including the, like the, the mask portion rather than just the stencil. Cause if you can include it, why not? Just gives more options. So we got that. And then we have the magic stars wafer die, which it's one wafer die. And I had to cut it from some silver glitter cardstock. So they're just fun little, you can either use them individually like so, and they're just like cute little stars or you could die cut it like as a window. That would work really cute too, because you can see it there on like an A2 sort of a size. Here, let me move this again. So either one would work. So you could do it as a window and back it with glitter cardstock, etc., or just use all the little pieces. And I think I'll just use all the little like pieces because I think it's really cute. I like that they're kind of funky shaped, a little more organic, I guess you could call them. So that's the Magic Stars wafer die set. Then we have 
We have the Magical Word Wafer Die, which is the word and the outline, which again, holographic. So we have the word, and then there is this coordinates kind of with this stamp set. So this is the Magical To Me stamp set. So this coordinates with the Magic Stars wafer die, buildable sentiments, which I love. Um, every day is magical with you. Our friendship is magical. I like how you have different options for the fonts. And then if you want, you could use the wafer die, which is it the same size? Ooh, you could use the outline with this. So either or, there is a coordinating wafer die set to cut out the three main words. So then that way, again, you can like heat emboss, mix and match, love. I love that this has like all the little stars. Just cute, really cute, I really love it. So there's the set, coordinating die set, that wafer die. There's also sentiment strips. I love me some sentiment strips. Let's put this one over here. So we have the magical wishes and there's the reverse. So there's the reverse ones and then there's the ones on white. They're the exact same, same um, phrases, etc. You just have the option of black word on white or printed basically white on black. These technically can be foiled because they are laser printed. I've shown it in a previous video like forever ago. I honestly don't even bother. I just use them on all my cards. I love the convenience of them. So yeah, tons of different um, options. Being with you is magical. Your kindness is magical. Thanks for everything. Love it. Like have a magical birthday, honeymoon, anniversary. And then you have the reverse option. I've started just storing them when there's now that Simon has both options of the same thing, I just store them in one of the stamp storage pockets and then I label it. And then that way I have all my options in one package. Makes my life easier. So there's that one. And then this is the background I had mentioned. It's the Magic Stars background. I think this is so cute. Again, it's not like perfect straight sharp little star images. Like they're a little softer. You know, and I, just, I think it's really cute. So just like Simon's other backgrounds, red rubber on cling, really nice impression. And I'm just, I'm thinking galaxy backgrounds. You do some ink blending, like heat emboss, embossers, ideas, lots of ideas. So I love all these like stars and sentiments and scenery sort of things. So we've got that. And then I kind of kept the rest of this sort of in with all of this. So we have this gorgeous one. This is the Sun and Moon Mandala stamp. I've got hair everywhere. Gorgeous. This is another one of those ones where it's actually several stamps. So you have the main one. This piece can pop out. This moon can pop out and the sentiment can pop out. So you can use all of them together. You could use either or, you know, like, You've got options and I just, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's so pretty. It's just so pretty, I love this. Like, absolutely love it. So, we have that one. And then we've got um, another kind of scene builder. This is the Mountainscape one. This look really cute and do like little stars in the background, do a little night sky, add, you know, a magical sentiment, you know? I think it's really cute, really cute. So we've got that one. And then we've got um, a couple of like wafer dye stencils. And then I'm gonna kind of include this cause it's weather really, I don't know. Anyway, we've got this big one. This is the sunburst wafer dye. So it die cuts a nearly A2 size, just like so. And it will go like, that so you can do an ink blended background whatever you know and include sentiments whatever you want to do and then this could could, could kind of go with like this little character this is the rainy days wafer die set this i just i think it's so cute i put it all together i love that it has you have the little character there is a 
die that it comes with that you can layer all this onto to make it easier to piece it all together. So you die cut this and then you can die cut the other pieces. These I just colored with Copic markers. And then there's little wafer dies for the puddle, the grass, the little rubber ducky, and the little either raindrops. I just, I'd hear them as little splashes, but you could use them as raindrops. So you've got all these little wafer dies to create this cute little um, rainy days scene. So that could look really cute, you know, with something like this. So we've got the sunburst, the rainy days. There's also the slimline sun rays stencil. Fabulous. So this will fill an entire like three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card. So we've got that big stencil. And then we have the you are or just my sunshine stencil. One like this, any sort of like for what I call a freestanding. There's a few ones that a few stencils that Simon has that are similar to this. Ones like this that don't have like a border, you know, something to tape down because it's words like that. You want something like pixie spray. Um, you know, a repositionable adhesive. It just makes life easier because you can spray it stick it down and then do whatever you know ink blending sprays etc and then you'll be able to remove that and have that stenciled onto your card so highly recommend pixie spray is just my go-to for stuff like that so that's the sun my sunshine stencil and then there's also another sentiment strip set there's the reverse as well as the white these are the sunshine and rainbows sentiment strips so same thing. You get two sheets of each style or like phrases and there's the regular and then there's the reverse version. Same thing. So yeah, you're the sunshine of my life, sending you a rainbow of blessings. You know, those will work really good with that as well as like really anything, you know, sunshine and rainbow themed. So, and a lot of these like longer ones will work really nice on slimline cards, you know? So, Love it. You add color to the world. Sometimes you have to dance in the rain. Ooh, look really good with that little, that little rainbow die cut character. So we got those. And then we have some fabulous. I was thinking of Laura Bass and like Laura Fedora when I saw these. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to die cut them, but I am sure she will have fabulous card examples. These are so her. So we have the Sexy Hexies. This just makes me laugh. Sexy Hexies background stamp. <laughs> love it. Just, just love it. And then there is a wafer die set so you can build and again, if you follow Laura Basson, you know she does so many cards with like cutting apart pieces of cardstock and scraps and building and doing it like this is like her to a T, you know, and it's just fabulous. So there's that one and then there's this one, which is really cute. This is the Geometric Builders Hearts. Same idea. You've got all these different hearts. You have like kind of your base in a couple sizes and then you can use, you know, die cut these from just all kinds of scraps of cardstock pattern paper and build all these fun little shapes. Love it. Love it. Super cute. Really fun. So we've got those two die sets and that background. And then there's also these really fun, which would just kind of work with anything. These are the flipped like you, flipped thanks and flipped hey. So I think the idea with these is to kind of give a fun look to whatever, you know, you just die cut it. You could use it as a window or you could use the words. So you've got these fun kind of flip version. You could add like a little companion sentiment strip in the middle. Honestly, for me personally, I just see it as, ooh, I can get two words die cut in one pass. So I could just die cut these twice and then have all my layers to stack in less time. That's just what I will do with them. So, you know, you've got hey, so you can have hey bestie, hey friend, etc. Thanks, which I use a lot. Um, there's no one like you, etc. It'll be interesting to see how other people though interpret it, you know, because you could do this as like background, just die cut it multiple times, you know, and they're flipped back and forth. That could look really cool. So, ideas. So we got those. And then we have some sports themed 
things, which I think will make a lot of people really happy. Again, I didn't have time to die cut, but we'll start with this background. This is the Throwing Shapes background, very graphic. Really like this. This would just work with anything. I really think that I, then tone on tone would look really nice with this. But this could also look fun if you did some like inky techniques, that sort of thing, like a la Tim Holtz. You could have some fun with this. So we have that background. Then there's the sentiment set, the most valuable player. I'm glad you're on my team. You give your best effort. I love your winning smile. Practice makes perfect. Welcome to the team. Love it. So there's that. And then there's these really fun die sets. So we have ball boy, there's mom, girl, dad, and there's game day. These all can kind of work together. So all of these ones that have like the circle areas, you can die cut. It comes with just kind of a plain circle. But if you have this die set, you can create basketballs, soccer balls, golf balls, baseballs, whatever. And these will fit in all of them, you know? So you got kids in sports, you got, you know, a partner who coaches, all those sorts of things, scrapbooking, all of it. I think this is just fun, like really fun. So lots, like just tons of options, tons of options. And I like that, you know, you've got kind of everything, but none of it's really specifically geared to like just one sport, you know? You got all of that. And these are just team, player, I love your spirit, birthday MVP, you know? So it just makes things a little more open-ended. So there's all of those. And then we have a cute little music themed set. We have the xylophone. <laughs> You're my favorite ringtone. You add music to my life. Call me on your xylophone. How cute is that? Seriously. So there's the stamp set with all the sentiments. You got your xylophone and even a little cell phone. There is a coordinating wafer die set that will cut out the images. You got your little music notes. And then there's this little standalone build a xylophone wafer die set, which is just super cute. So I die cut it. Again, I just colored the little strips with Copic markers you know, adhered the little mallet and was good to go. But obviously it will go with this set. Just cute. And it just makes me think of when my kids were little, because of course they had the little like, I think it was like a Fisher Price and xylophone, something like that. Just, it's just adorable. So we've got that cute little set. And then we've got coffee. Of course, one of my faves. So we have this fabulous cup of love set so the vertical image of a coffee cup and um, saucer and then different stamps you can use to stamp for like the latte foam etc really love it really love it coffee and friends are the perfect brand blend good friends good coffee great life i love you more than coffee love there is coordinating wafer dye to die cut out the heart and the spoon the coffee cup and this little sprig just a really pretty little set. And then I paired it with the This Is Living. This is the little wafer die that came out. You can use this kind of either or. Where's my little oh, dark cards? Like, here we go. Um, you can use just this, like, outline. I just left everything in because I kind of liked the tone on tone look of it. But you can die cut it from different colors because there, there's the little frame. The little center area, the letters you know, mix and match. But then again, this kind of just goes nicely with all of this. So there's those. And then we're getting into just kind of not quite random, I guess. So we'll do some CZ design fabulousness. I love Kathy Zilski's everything. So we have the wish I could hug you wafer die set. Love it. Love it. So word and outline. Then we've got the Send Wine and Send Wine and Hugs sentiment strips. So we have the wafer die, which is the words and the outline. And then we have the two options of sentiment strips. So we have the reverse and the white. 
So yeah, great fan. <laughs> You know, send wine and hugs. Both are needed. You had me at wine. Um, have wine. We'll deliver. Cheers, friend. Let's toast. It's been a year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's home delivery for wine tacky. <laughs> like, love it. So you've got the options. Sip happens. Yes, wine is a health food. Love it. So all those options and the wafer dye. And then again, if you know Kathy Zielski, you know her snarky sense of humor, which is right up my alley. I l love this stamp set. This is the Sassy Insides 2. Just great kind of snarky little sentiments. Your friendship means the world to me. Thanks for supporting my questionable cho choices. Uh, the answer may not be found in a bottle of wine, but when has that ever stopped us? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So many good good sentiments in there. So we got that one. And then speaking of Kathy and her like snarkiness, we also have the swoopy oh crap. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I like this font choice as well. She did a thank you one in a previous release that I've used many times. So we have the die set with the word and the outline. And then we have the craptastic uh, sentiment strips in both versions. This is again right up my alley. So yeah, happy bladed birthday, better late than never. <laughs> Next year I'll set an alarm, I claim insanity. Uh, I have no excuse, hope this card helps. I'm here to support you. Next year I'll remember, you know, these are the best. So yeah, and even things like, I'm sorry I hurt you, you know, wish it was better news, I'm here for you. Like, yeah, well, this news is just craptastic. You know, like just real. Yeah, love it, love it just love it. So we need more like real, if that makes sense. So in my opinion. So we've got those. And then we also have this fabulous one. This is another favorite. As soon as I saw it in the box, I was like, oh, love. So this is the um, CZ Design Silhouette Sentiments. I love how this is just a small one. Like I have that big silhouette set from Simon that I've used in a bunch of videos and I love it. I love that this is just a little version. So you can just do smaller, do some ink blending and stamp the silhouette. And we've got little butterflies as well. I really like this set. Just, you know, just, just a little one. You can do littler cards and those sorts of things. So, and I also love that there's some really good sentiments in here. So, you know, just a note to say hello, proud of you, thinking of you, I'm here for you, happy birthday, etc. Really love that. Like really love the combo of it all. There is a coordinating die set that will die cut just the sentiments and the little butterflies. I just think it's so cute. So cute. So we've got that one. And then there was also this one by Kathy Zielski, which is like a must have. Teacher thank yous. Can't have enough of sets for thanking teachers because seriously. So you've got, you know, typical Kathy sentiments, like large ones, and then a mix of sizes. Got a cute couple little like silhouette apples, the A+, your hard work and commitment to your students does not go unnoticed. Um, you are an amazing teacher. Thank you for the care and compassion you put into your classroom every day. Like, so good. Love, love, love. And then there's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut sentiments in the little apples. I love it. Love it. So I got that one. And then, like I said, kind of random with a lot of the other things. <laughs> We've got this little uh, small script two. I've been using my small, small script wafer dies. There's a few different ones that Simon has released and I love them. So we've got, hey, love, miss, new. So hey, you, love you, miss you, you know. I like these. These will go really nice too with like, you know, this. You could have like the sentiments, miss you. See, ideas. Just, just nice little sentiments. I really like these. So I stacked all those together. So that's a small script too. So it's that one. And then we have the Slimline Happy For You. This is a super long wafer die. This one's like just over seven inches long. So meant for a slimline card. However, because the words are separate, you can use them however you want. So you could do like that. 
you know, on an A2 card, or you could do them across on a slim line, you know, I like the options. Or you could just do that and then have a little sentiment like birthday, little sentiment strip. So really like this a lot. So that's the happy for you, slim line happy for you wafer dies. And then we've got some more stencils. So this one's a layering one. This is the Mod Layering Leaves. So it's a two stencil set. So you have the stencil for the leaves and then you have the stencil for the like embellishment. And I was immediately thinking, I was like, ooh, this would look really pretty if you like just ink blended the leaves and then used some sort of like glitter paste or something. You know, some sort of fancy, like a metallic paste would also look really nice. So you can just layer those together and create like this gorgeous little pattern. So that's the Mod Layering Leaves. And then we have this really fun one. This is just the Slimline Organic Dots. And this one got me thinking about like, ooh, like the texture you could create with this. Do some ink blending, do some um, paste, like some crackle paste. Texture. Love. So we got that one. And then we've got the Slimline Floral Builder. So this one, you have the nice little cloud edge, which that I'm probably gonna use the most. But you've got three options with this. You have the cloud edge, you have a fun little grass edge, and you also have a flower border. So you could actually end up using like all three, like do your, do your grass edge, and then you could add your little flowers, and then you could do clouds, and you got your little card front, you know? And then you could add that um, happy for you right across, card done. <laughs> So there's that one. And then we've got just so many things. So many things. So we have the All About You sentiment set. Love these. Like, this is just going to be another one of those sort of go-tos. You were awesome. Thank you. Adore you for you. Miss you. I like that. Like, just nice to stamp. Heat emboss, etc. Love. So with that one. We also have a pack of Susie's Tropical Foliage Watercolor Prints. These are printed onto Distress watercolor paper. So you can watercolor them. Some people have colored them with Copic markers, pencil, color pencils. The sky's the limit. So you get two each of each of these designs. And they're all drawn by Susie Plantamira. And she always does like tons of examples showing just so many ideas. So pretty. Love it. So we've got those. And then we have the You're the Best. Wait for die. I kept the letters again inside this. You can pop them out and it's more like a window. Um, again, personal preference. This, I just tape mine. I just put some like little washi tape just to hold them in place because I do I just like that tone on tone but you could inlay a different color if you wanted or pop them out and have it like a window and then the your word is separate so then that one you can stack up and another like good size you know so you've got the you're the best this would also go well with that teacher set some ideas and then we also have this fabulous little um, stained glass background Another one of those ones where it's like, ooh, I would heat emboss this and then do like shimmer sprays or like shimmer powders, watercolor, whatever, you know, and let the color sit and do its thing. It's just a neat way to create like some fun texture. Or again, just tone on tone and it would just create a nice like subtle background. So I got that one. Then we also have three big stamp sets. We have the Petal Power stamp set really fun and graphic all these great big petals to build i like like thanks that one says friend and then just like different geometric patterns like really fun and then there is a coordinating wafer die set to die cut these so you could just stamp in all different colors die cut and then just piece together kids would have a lot of fun with this too like just stamp and die cut a ton of them and then just let them build like great big flowers and stuff how fun would that be super cute so we got that one and this one is another favorite. You get me at the big florals. This is the hibiscus blooms. I love hibiscus flowers. They're so pretty. So you got this great big floral. You got individual ones, individual leaves. You have these cute little hummingbirds. And then just a nice mix of sentiments, which I also love. 
Love the mix of the sentiments, some for the outside, some for the inside. Love. There's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all of the images as well as the big sentiments, which again, love, love, oh, love it. So I got that one. And then we have the do what it cakes <laughs> set. This one's really cute. So you have your cakes, like plain cakes, and then you have all these different little options to decorate them. Like how cute is that? Seriously. So you have little florals you could add, little like ribbons, stripes, all the different things. You know, confetti. Like, so cute. And then you got your little candles and then sentiments. Happy birthday, you take the cake, congrats, oh baby. You know, like just a fun set. And then there's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut out the cake, the florals, the individual ones as well. And just fun. I just think it's so cute. So we've got that, and then last, but certainly not least, we have the Simon Dot Runner. I just started using this, so I don't use dot, like any sort of like runners much anymore, but this came out, was it a month ago? Something. It came out in the last kit, and I played with it a little bit. I'm gonna use it some more, like experiment with it more. So far, I really do like it. So yeah, these are really nice. The pack, you can get the like handle, like the main base with the adhesive in it and then two refills. So I know other designers have been using it. Jennifer McGuire has been raving about it. Laura Basson's been raving about it. So I have high hopes for this, I think. And I, do, I really do love the color. <laughs> it's like, it's so pretty. So yeah, I've had it like sitting here. So. That is new from Simon. They've been testing this out for a while. It's kind of exciting. And the last but certainly not least is the sequin mixes. And I don't have them labeled, of course. Um, I think this is like the magical and this is tropical, something like that, but I'll have them linked. But gorgeous little sequin mixes, the tropical one. Just Yeah, it, it really is like a tropical mix. This looks so pretty with like the hibiscus ones and like the sunshine backgrounds and stuff. And then this, of course, with the stars and the magical things, all that fun stuff. So I think, I think I covered it all. I hope I did. I've got like an absolute just disaster going on. But like I said, I will have links to everything in the description box below the video. I will also have picture links in my blog post. I link to my blog post directly below the video and you can hop on over there and I'll have everything, you know, in picture links, easier to see and navigate. Stay tuned. I'll have cards coming, of course, and videos and all that fun stuff. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Um, I always have that linked below as well. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I very much appreciate it. I will be back very soon with another video.